I told you camping plans. Yep. I went and checked the forecast. It is going to get to about 93 during the day, but it cools off to like 63. Yeah, at you'll be okay. One or two in the morning, so we'll be fine. <laughs> at least when you're sleeping, it gets yeah. a little comfortable, but uh, yeah, you know, I'm sure the boys are going to have fun anyway. You guys mm -hmm. are going to enjoy it. You've got to do what you can, take precautions. Right. That's the sunscreen, sunglasses, swim shirts, all of it. All that good yes. stuff. Yeah. And let's talk about some of the heat. I wanted to put a perspective for you because July, typically our hottest month of the year here in Southern Colorado, in particular in Colorado Springs, we average about 10 days in the 90s in the month of July. So far this month, only seeing one day in the 90s, whereas in June, we clocked 13 days in the 90s. So it was pretty hot last month. So far, the first half of July has been relatively mild, but it's about to get super hot in our extended forecast right now this morning already much warmer than what we saw the past couple of mornings 50s up towards Monument. That's some of the cooler air we're seeing 46 in Woodland Park 60s though for Denver, Colorado Springs, Canyon City and Pueblo and the origin of this hot air is going to be off to our south and west where right now current temps in the desert areas are in the 90s in Vegas and Palm Springs. We're in the 90s in Phoenix Flagstaff nice and cool due to their higher elevation at 50. Look at Salt Lake City. 73 degrees up around 60 in Missoula, mid 60s in Spokane with some upper 70s in place out towards Boise, Idaho. Now look into the hour by hour forecast today. We're going to tack on another degree or two to what we saw yesterday. Still could see a foothill or mountain shower, but I think most of us for I 25 out east will be dry with just a few clouds by the afternoon to evening up near 90 today in the springs, mid 90s expected in Pueblo and that big big dome of high pressure that's been responsible for that dangerous heat across the western third of the country. It is making its way to the east and as it moves towards Colorado this weekend, that is when we'll see the peak of the hottest temperatures. I expect that to be from Friday into Sunday, but only gradually cooling into early next week. We'll get to that in just a moment as we look at that super seven day forecast. First, a look at your highs on this 10th day of July, mid 90s in Pueblo today. 93 in Canyon City, 90 in the Springs, up to 86 in Monument, 91 in Denver. And here is that super seven day forecast as promised. 92 tomorrow, so still in the low 90s for the next two days. And then here comes the really hot stuff starting on Friday. I've actually Change these numbers a bit from yesterday due to some uh, latest model data I pushed us up to 98, <clears throat> which could tie the record high last set in 1971. And on Sunday with that record down to 96, my forecast at 97, we could see another day of record setting heat. Now the benchmark a little higher in Pueblo, but we could get pretty close to it on Friday. Maybe again on Monday, you can see at least four consecutive days at or above 100. For Canyon City, foothill shower possible around town today. In town, only about a 10 to 20 percent chance of a shower. 95 tomorrow, triple digits from Friday to Saturday. And for Woodland Park, an isolated storm or two possible today. And then we're dry and warm before a change in the pattern towards the middle parts of next week.